What is going on ladies and genitals, Yodi Slay here bringing you episode 6 of my Borderlands 2 unique weapon series. Today I have a unique pistol for you guys known as the Pocket Rocket. In my case it is the double penetrating Pocket Rocket, in your case the prefix of this gun may change, but it will be some variation of the Pocket Rocket. Now this thing, this bad boy, has kind of went under the radar. This is going to be found in the second DLC known as Mr. Torg's Campaign of Carnage, and as far as I know I had never heard of this before. I had my list of all the uniques pulled up and I seen that there was a pistol known po as Pocket Rocket that was only available in the Torg vending machines. I was like, hmm, I wonder what this could be. Obviously, I kind of figured it would be rockets, um, but I had no idea that it was going to be like uh, like an unkept herald on steroids now right there you can see that I just wanted to show you guys how I actually farm for this gun you see I went to the uh, vending machine right here at pyro Pete's bar you could do this at any vending machine I chose pyro Pete's because I could save an exit and start each and every time right by the machine and lo and behold I got the double penetrating pocket rocket if you're unfamiliar with like the unkept herald or something like that double penetrating is like the best prefix on these guns and for me to get the best one I mean I had insta wood I was like so wait I got a beastly one and I had no idea this was going to be like a unique version of the unkempt herald most of you probably know that the unkempt herald is like my favorite gun in the game now right here we are going to uh, skip ahead to Fink Slaughterhouse. I'm going to show you that I do have two of these. What I did, uh, you know, because I'm gun zerking with these, um, I accidentally duped myself one uh, in Predictable Nova's game just so I could have two. For the sake of this video, you know, I'll give this away to maybe one of you. Um, I don't know. I don't really need two of them. I, um... I mean, I might keep it. I'm not really sure. But we're going to skip ahead. You're going to see the action. One thing you're going to see that's different than the Unkempt Herald is the fact that, like, the rockets, the bullets, whatever you want to call them, are, like, so much faster than the Unkempt Herald. I'm actually going to read from you now from the wiki so you can get a little better understanding. It says, the Pocket Rocket is a unique pistol manufactured by Torg. It is only available in Mr. Torg's Campaign of Carnage. The Pocket Rocket can only be obtained from trading vending machines using Torg tokens. Special weapon effects. In the red text, it says, did you ever have the feeling that dot dot fires high speed gyro jet projectiles at the cost of two rounds per trigger pull the explosion radius is very large con compared to the usual torque pistol usage and description generally behaves like a usual torque pistol with faster projectiles and a larger explosion radius the area of effect and projectile speed work well together for hitting enemies that are fast or in groups it is also far more useful for hitting enemies that are hiding near the edge of cover, a strategy that is usually difficult to use with the small explosion radius of a standard Torg pistol. Now the trivia says the Pocket Rocket's name may be a nod to the 1974 children's book, There's a Walka in My Pocket, written and illustrated by Dr. Seuss. So there's a little bit more information about that gun that I may have been able to provide for you guys. Now like I said, it is like the Unkempt Herald. But if you're, un or if you're familiar with the double penetrating unkempt herald, you know the rate of fire is pretty slow. Uh, you know, you may pull the trigger like twice before it shoots once. I don't know if that, if that makes much sense. But well, like this one, each and every time you would pull the trigger or click the mouse, whatever it may be, it seemed like it would fire. With the double penetrating unkempt herald, it seems like you skip a beat. Like, you'll pull the trigger twice and shoot only once, if that makes sense. You'll skip like a trigger pull and fire. I don't know, I'm gonna drop the subject now, but the rate of fire in the pull per trigger or shot per trigger pull for this one was a lot higher. And I actually really dig this pistol, I'm not even gonna lie. I think it looks awesome, the blue and red and white. I think it looks pretty awesome. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the uh, Torg tokens, I will have an annotation on the screen in the very top middle of the screen this entire video, but I'm just telling about you now like a boss, where you can click on and actually see a really easy method to farm for Torg tokens. They're really easy to get, so I'll put that tutorial up there for you guys that may be confused and not know where they came from. Those that don't have the DLC, they'll probably... Yeah, you'll probably be lost. But what it is, is Torque Tokens are dropped. Uh, you get some from like qu uh, quest rewards, mission rewards, stuff like that. But there's certain enemies in the game at certain points of the DLC that you kill them, they can drop, you know, Torque Tokens. It's kind of like the Seraph Crystals um, or Iridium. It's just another currency within the game. And you can only use them at those Torque vending machines. You can also use them at the Moxie's Bar in the second DLC to gamble, you know, the little vending machines or slot machines, whatever, they go off of Torque Tokens instead of money, like in the normal game. So guys, I hope you enjoyed episode 6 of the uh, Unique Weapon Series with the Pocket Rocket. I gotta say, I love the name and it's pretty awesome. I do have a freaking rocket in my pocket, I will say that. That was gay. But I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'm out here. Peace.